Hello. So we're at the Beanies Market again, and the weather's lovely. And we've changed it around a little bit if you're interested in the marketing videos. Marketing videos, the market videos. We've actually now got a lot more space out back. And let me show you why. We are now hanging our art. I'm now hanging my art from the actual gazebo itself. So if you've watched the previous videos, you'll know these have been on easels out back, which really kind of restricts our space. So I'm happy with this setup. Let's just hope the wind stays low so they don't flap in anyone's face. So while we're talking about markets, here are some of the things that I think just make sense about my display. Firstly, a cotton sign. So I used to have a vinyl logo sign with my old logo on, which you might think was had a bit more life in it, a bit more longevity, but it actually was really cumbersome. It was really thick. It was difficult to store. And when it folded, it got like little white bits on it. Um, like little white marks in the actual image. So being a plastic free business, I went for a cotton banner, but it's actually so much better than the vinyl anyway, because it folds up and you can put it in a little bag, which makes the whole packing up and packing away process so much easier. The second thing that just makes sense are these. So these are stock boxes. I carry stocks to the markets in them, but I use them on my displays for a little bit of height. So it's a good way to double up and save some space in the car or in the van. Another thing that just makes sense are these. So these are just wooden plate holders, which I've spray painted, and they're a really good way for getting flat items like books to display 3D. Another item which I've just invested in, which just makes sense for my market display, is my rotary card stand. Granted, this takes up a bit more space in the car or the van, but look how many cards I can fit on there. And people just love having a browse. I did spray paint it, and I didn't realize until later that you can buy a varnish to seal spray paint. So I have now sealed this spray paint, which just bear in mind if you do if you do spray paint your stands, uh, there might be a little bit of colour transfer on lighter things if you don't seal it. I have sealed mine now, so it's fine. Another thing that just makes sense is this card stand that was made by one of my friends. Let me show you it from behind. So I was very lucky that one of my friends can make things like this, uh, but you can buy them on places like eBay and uh, Etsy, I imagine. But all of these come apart, so it packs flat, which is just so wonderful when space is, when space is short. And if you're ever gonna do markets, you'll really want to condense as much as you can into foldable display items or display items that you can use to carry stock in. Another thing that just makes sense is reused stuff. So rather than buying new, just reuse it. This was an old biscuit tin that I spray painted. You can see the lid there. And I use that just for display. Uh, this thing here was a box, uh, like an art box from a charity shop, which I took the lid off and now I use it for a display. This thing here was an old photo frame that I glued some denim to, and now it is a display. There is absolutely no need to buy expensive display items, excuse me, while, <laughs> while I shuffle in. Um, absolutely no need to buy expensive display items when you 
just ha can just have a little think about what you've got in your house or go to the charity shop and see what there is there see what you can upcycle see what you can reuse repurpose and save you some money and put it to good use another display item that just makes sense and it's something that I haven't done up until the last market that I did is have big signs because it really does catch people's eye from a long way away so I've got this one and I've also got this one for our Dave and yeah I'm not going to ever go back I really like having the big signs Doo -doo. Obviously you don't have to make them yourself. There are companies where you can provide artwork and you can get cardboard stands, but I really do really, really like the big signs. I think it makes massive impact. delicious but another thing that just makes sense for displaying things in my store are my yellow pegboards I'll say it again my yellow pegboards if you've got art to display you can get like um, what they call like browsing uh, stands where you can put it's like a an X shape and you can put all of your prints in and people can browse through. I found from my past experience that corners often get dog-eared in that process, especially if you've got a lot of art because it's heavy and um, the weight of the art kind of pushes on the back ones and it, they can bend, they can dog-ear. So I've decided to dispense with that and instead go with some of these and the art's just held on with yellow elastic usually we put them on easels but this time we've got some more of that yellow elastic and just hung it from the actual marquee itself it seems to be doing just as good a job and we've got a lot more space back here a little tip there for you if you do have art or something flat like books and things that you want to display pegboards are a great solution and i just spray painted mine Another thing about my display that just makes sense is my little QR code signs. So I've made a few QR code signs that I've dotted around my stall and they just link to my YouTube videos, uh, maybe like a specific YouTube video that links to my books, next to my books, and then one that's linked to my calendars, next to my calendars, or they could link to your website or anything, anything that you want to send people to. You can get free QR codes with your Google account. I'll pop a link down below to the one that I use. It's free, but it does have a little ad before it lets you upload your, uh, upload to your page. But you can upgrade to get rid of the ad, but it's a three second ad. I don't really care that much. So I'll, I'll link down below to the free one that I use. We're right by Crossroads. And I just find it's a really nice idea as a way to give people a breadth of experience of your stuff. I'm not finding my words, but yeah, QR codes. <laughs> So I hope you found this video all about things that just make sense in my market stall displays. If you want some more videos just on general tips for running your own market stalls, I'll pop a link here. But if you're watching it on a mobile device and you don't see a link here, check the video description and I'll pop links there. But I'm going to leave this video here and until next time, bye bye.